My project deals with um, healthy eating choices, not at home so much, but while traveling or on the run. You have to look at what you need to teach for your grade level and your content area, and then develop a unit that places that content in um, a real life situation, something that the kids will care about, that the kids can engage in. Teams must now fly to the city of Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Once there, they must find the fabled foreign correspondence club and make contact with the assignment editor. The theme is the amazing race, so uh, kind of incorporating math and social studies and they have to choose, within their groups they have to choose uh, the most significant, that we may be just studying Europe and they have to choose the most significant city, most significant uh, man-made wonder, and most significant uh, natural wonder. And they have to budget their trip with lodging and flights, and they have to draw maps of each leg of their journey, but also um, persuasively describe why they chose those different locations. They need to do, use teamwork, they need to use communication, they need to use problem solving to get to a, a solution and their solution paths might be different and actually what they they come out with might be different but it's all answering a driving question that depends on the content to answer it. Your students will look into the components of a cell phone plan and the kinds of things that they would need to consider in determining what plan is best for a variety of usage patterns. Um, my hope is to be in partnership with uh, Best Buy, since they deal with a lot of different carriers as opposed to just having one carrier, uh, with the hope of students developing some sort of tool as a consumer guide. Jill Robinson, who's in the chemistry department, had been doing some work with uh, Bloomington's New Tech and Columbus's New Tech, so it seemed like a natural jump off point. So we, um, Jill and I, worked together to create Math and Molecules Matter. You all know that if you hit the ball too far on the end of the bat, you get the sting. Well, why not improve that? Fine tune it with electronics, nanotechnology, so you get a feedback of, ooh, I was just two inches off from the perfect on that. We thought it was a natural extension to bring project-based learning into the sciences as well, and we thought that nanoscience in combination with project-based learning would be something that many teachers would be interested in and could really you know, charge up their classrooms. And Science done well is inquiry-based and it's, it's open to exploration and PBL is that way too. And so um, if we can um, choose, you know, real and, and relevant problems that can be explored in a laboratory setting, uh, that generally translates to a really powerful experience for kids. We have actually surveyed um, a class at Columbus Signature Academy last year. Before they did their nanoscience project, about 30% were interested in pursuing a STEM college degree. And just after a two-week project, it was up to 60% were interested in pursuing that in the future. We have a rubric, we have two scaffolding tools, injury event. Initiative that we're uh, supporting is uh, to go classroom by classroom. You, you in, uh, you generate the interest at the teacher level uh, that will spread out within that school, within that school district, and uh, that's what we're seeing happen in, in this region where uh, there's just a growing number of teachers who are knowledgeable and comfortable with using project-based learning, uh, and uh, we see that as, as very positive for uh, the, the uh, in increasing the readiness of, of our future workforce. And so they used to have a different amount and they're trying to get the most bang for the buck over a 10 year period on investments and working with a local bank. The largest difference I see between PBL and projects is that you're inviting community partners in. The task it doesn't come from a teacher anymore. It comes from an external um, community partner, a business person, a scientist in the community is asking the students to investigate something or make a recommendation. And that, um, what I've seen even in my own classroom and what the research shows is that it, it increases motivation and excitement and engagement because the students really want to do this a real world task. They want to work with this business professional. They want to impress the biomedical engineer that's coming in in three weeks to hear the presentation um, a lot more than they might want to impress their teacher.